All right, folks, on to the back nine, the second installment of the course vlog series. Back from Bandon Dunes. The last time we did a course vlog was back there. You can also check out Rustic Canyon and Santa Anita in Los Angeles. We will be eventually heading around to all of the golf courses in Austin at some point. Maybe, if you watch the front line of this video, when I get my game back together. So the 10th hole is a pretty short par four with some water on it, so uh, about 287 yards. I'm gonna start off this back nine here with a seven iron. Feeling pretty good. Uh, and the nice couple in front of us let us play through. I was basically trying not to kill them. And so I pulled it a little left and this ball is on a small rock salad embedded in some dirt. And I blame that entirely on this, the shank. Been a while since I've hit a shank um, and I don't remember it ever feeling good. And this one also felt good, but you know what felt worse than the shank is what you're about to see here. Got the ball dropped in position, didn't get a yardage, probably about 70 yards and just didn't follow through with it and splash. So here we're gonna drop another ball. The title of this short video is how to make an eight on a short par four. Follow through with this one. And uh, yeah, just got it on the green. And if memory serves me correctly, well, I, I guarantee I don't make this, but I'll tell you that, spoiler alert, not making this one. For a golfer, the easiest thing to complain about is the green, because if they're too slow, they're too slow. If they're too fast, they're too fast. There's no, the only putt you don't complain about is one that goes in, which honestly is just such a low percentage. You look at the professional percentages on the putts that go in and they're low, unless they're inside three feet. This one um, somehow goes in. So that's a two putt, folks. We are we are off to a solid start here. Four over par on the back nine. Eleventh hole is a 325 yard hole. Bends around to the right. This is my first time seeing this side, and felt really good over this ball. Got through it. Um, you know, a little off balance there in the follow through, but you know we're okay with it. It uh, it cut a little bit, and I'm gonna blame the wind there. I think that was a perfectly struck golf ball that just caught some wind. Um, so we fanned it out to the right a little bit, and this is just a terrible example here. Green light, pretty good lie, no trouble here, and just, I don't know, it, it, I felt like I was too fast, but as I look at the swing now, it felt like I had time there. Um, just kind of bladed it into that tree up front. So this is a low chip here with an eight iron, just trying to kind of bump it up there. Mm, didn't quite make it so here we've got another chip this is this is the uh, the my band name might be called the two chips just sort of the story of never hitting the green is is that story and wow good putt i just need to disable the force field around the hole next time walking off with a six that means that we are six over par on the 12th hole back nine here now Here's a story, all right? The, the, this is a nice little par five, 493. Um, you know, my swing thought on this swing here was hit it as hard as I can. And let's see if you can guess what the result is. Wow, I really tried to hit that hard. And just that thing, it was like that thing had Stockholm Syndrome and then finally realized that it just needed to get as far away from me and, and get lost as soon as possible. So then I just decided to hit another one because I didn't want to look for that ball. So I'm lying three and in my head, I'm just saying, just swing smooth guy, just relax and hit a really good one. This was my probably it was, at this point, it was the best swing of the day. We're, we're sitting down here, 493. We got 168 in. So quick math, that's about a hundred, 325 yard drive. So that's really good. I don't know if we, I think we were a little downwind. Um, and so here we got a seven iron and I don't know if you can hear the music, but we're playing uh, last resort by Papa Roach. Probably got to turn it down so that the YouTube video can play. Felt really good and tried to focus on the follow through here. Um, long left. We got the wind kind of going right to left, so that's fine. Uh, luckily, this sort of meteor is just finishing right before the ball. So I've got enough room to get a backswing on the 58 degree wedge. And it just didn't quite get there. But again, with everything running away from me, I wasn't terribly upset with this. And then this is just a total misread. It was like I picked up one book from the library and the inside of the book was just a completely different book. I just had no idea what I was doing here. Um, and this putt, this putt, 
I don't, I'm not proud of this, but this, this putt made me question the greenskeeper. Moving on, 13, and you know what that means. Ace cam is live. We've got 125 downhill into the wind. I'm saying something. Who cares what it is? Don't listen to him. This, this is a man under serious pressure here. Pitching wedge in my hand. I like this club, and I like this shot. Online the whole way, a little short. But uh, I'm feeling like I've got a chance at a two here. About a 25-foot putt here that uh, I am I am reading like it is my horoscope here. Let's see what we got. 25 feet uphill, a little bit left to right. And, you know, when they miss short, they miss right in the center of the cup there. Anyway, good tap in par. Feeling good about that. Just trying to turn the beat around, and here... I guess I turned the beat around one revolution too many. This seems to be my miss for the day. Left going left. My miss for the day is just one way going that way. A very stubborn ball flight here. Uh, another short par five. The 14th hole is 509 yards. Kind of just comes over this hill. I've got a three iron to keep this thing low and kind of skip it down there and trying to draw it. It drew but not quite the picture that I had in mind. Uh, ended up in a little bit of trouble here. Grabbed the three iron again to just try and do a little field goal between those two tree stumps and get us in a position to just get a wedge in there. <laughs> Successful medicine delivery system. All right, and here we have a 54 degree wedge. I've got just under 100 yards, which is uh, more than enough for this club. And I'm just trying to visualize my favorite golfer just to get some athleticism through the ball. So I picture Graham McDowell. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, maybe it just, maybe it's spun up the club face. I don't know, but I'm uh, about qu quite a bit short of this hole here. You know, at least I gave it. At least I gave it enough gas to get there. Uh, so much gas that it went a little too far. So here, the comebacker, here. It's, you know, it's just just outside my comfort zone. My comfort zone with the putter is about a foot. Maybe we could title the video "How to Three Putt." That'd be good. <laughs> Smiles. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so take a double bogey on a par five, and we add Ace Cam live again. And this is not the last time but it is the fourth time spoiler alert lions has five par threes 15th hole is 125 playing a little bit uphill felt really good about this swing it looked good the whole way just a little bit left wind going right to left so we got a 25 footer a little downhill here and again felt really good over this putt Really trying to spend a little more time on the reads at this point in the round. And again, yeah, that looked good almost all the way except for the very end when it just didn't get there. Tap in par. Par threes. I'm loving it. We're going to move on to the 16th hole. Par four, 395 yards. This is Hogan's hole. Downhill. I have a six iron in my hands. I probably should have had a four iron. But nevertheless, this story is one that I will remember. Felt really good about the draw. Tried to kind of get that left wrist into a draw position at the top of the swing. And, um, and here we have a bit more meat on the bone that I'd like to have. 200 on the number to the pin. And I pull a 5-iron, and I'm basically trying to wrap a wrap a little bow around that tree going right to left it's a lot of meat and there's a lot of sauce in the air so here we're trying to just pull this shot off and groove low honestly better for me than a groove high at this point with that water short i'm gonna end up right on the front of the green and felt very good about that and i feel like if someone was standing over hogan's grave you might see the dirt shimmer just a little bit as he just sees the hero shot take place even though that putt is terribly misread i mean the, the pin there was kind of on a bit of a mound so it was kind of one way or the other like the uh you know the blondie song 
And I really wanted to make this putt. I'll be honest with you. I wanted to walk away from this hole with a four. But sometimes desire isn't really enough. Uh, and so I have to settle with a five. But nevertheless, it was a fun adventure. And I'm looking forward to playing that hole with the proper club off the tee next time. Winding our way down. And at this point, we realize that we've played the first 16 holes in two and a half hours. So we're on the 17th here, the final par three. And I have a six iron in my hands. I switch it out for a seven, which kiss of death you know you're really trying to hit it hard i got a slightly uneven tee box which i look at there as if to say you dirty rat hit it about an inch behind the ball and we splashed one so here i'm lying three trying to make a hole in one for a par All right, for three. and uh you know just lesson for the kids at home if you have a 179 yard par three no matter how downhill downwind it is Seven iron's going to be tough to stay stable over the ball with. So, you know, anyway, I'm long left here. I think I bounced off the card path, and this is a fun up-and-down opportunity. Green sloping away. It seems like they do all day on all of these shots. Very far away again, kind of ran through the green, and just looking to get a putt close. And you can see the water hazard there. The really beautiful, subtle, municipal par three. Miss club, misjudge, overswing, bad chip, and a nice little two putt. 18th hole, folks. Spoiler alert, this is a good one. Starting to get sunny. Four iron in my hands for the 301 yard finisher. Pretty open fairway. I can hear the chicks singing. Wide open spaces. I'm not gonna do karaoke right now. But anyway, we've got 88 yards here. A pretty bare lie. Just, just kind of like hitting off soft pavement. Not, not my favorite. And I'm just trying to take a 50 degree, which is about a 115 club here, and just 50% it, 60% it, and just, and just get through the ball, you know? And I perfectly executed here, which is going to set us up for really our first makeable birdie attempt and i mean i read this thing like you know i never really cared about homework but if i did this would be my homework and i'm doing it right now so we've got 15 feet is he going to make it to end with some Come type on. of hope he makes yes. it it's amazing this folks Woo. is the one that keeps you coming back god i can just get naked right now and just jump in the closest body of water well, thanks for watching, folks. Very exciting. One birdie. I, I typically tend to say that one birdie on the day is all that I hope for, and that's why I just try to keep my expectations low. Looking forward to seeing you on the rest of the course vlogs in and around Austin, Texas. We're going to play over at Clay and Kaiser next. Maybe we can get out to Spanish Oaks one day, The what I think is one of the best courses in Austin, albeit very private. But all the public courses are so fantastic, and I'm looking forward to getting to know all of them. So thank you for watching, and please don't try this at home.